Hi, I'm Elijah Fox. For this next exercise, I'm going to be showing you how you can use rhythmic displacement to create an arpeggiated texture out of a pre-existing chord. For this example, we're going to be assuming that we're in standard time, or 4-4 four, four time, in which there's four beats in every measure. What we're essentially going to be doing is breaking up the subdivisions of 16 to imply odd time signatures while still staying in 16. I'm going to start by demonstrating off of a two chord progression from F minor to C minor 9. So for each chord, I was playing the same four note phrase four times, which equals 16. So now we want to come up with a grouping of numbers that will still add up to 16, but includes odd numbers that'll make the time feel feel like it's shifting and displace the arpeggiated pattern. So for example, we could come up with 556, five, which would also equal 16. So we're still in 4-4 four, four time, but the groupings of 5 is going to make it feel like it's almost pushing a bit. So you can see I moved that to D minor and A minor as well, but the concept is basically the same. Instead of doing four groupings of four, I was doing two groupings of five and then a grouping of six or two threes. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a great tool that you can use when interpreting already existing songs or writing your own songs or improvising. Keeping the same chords, let's now do another grouping. So this time I'm going to try 7, 5, 4. 7 plus 5 plus 4 is 16. 7 can also be thought of as groups of 3 and 4. So 7, 5, 4. Here we go. So for that example, you can see for the seven, I started out with a grouping of four, then three, then five, then four. I'm seeing this as little cells, and it's a way of essentially subdividing the 16 notes, but creating odd numbers so that it has a bit more push and pull. This is similar to the same way that producers would program hi-hats in which they might accent certain parts of the beat. So it's essentially playing the piano almost like a hi-hat and that we're doing different groupings of odd numbers while still staying in 16. You can always take this to the next level if you want to put it in 32. You could think of a 32 group phrase with sevens and fives. You could also think of an eight group phrase, five plus three, seven plus one, that type of thing. I now encourage you to try your own example of creating a subdivision arpeggio over this chord progression with some odd numbers that add up to 16. 
and use that as an accompaniment pattern that you can try over the chords F minor to C minor.